John chapter 5 verses 1 to 18. We stopped yesterday at verse, uh, what, where is it? At verse 14. Now that you are well again, do not sin anymore or something worse may happen to you. The man went back and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had cured him. It was because he did things like this on the Sabbath that, that the Jews began to harass Jesus. He answered, his answer to them was, my father still goes on working and I also doing the work. But that only made the Jews even more intent on killing him because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, he spoke of God as his own father. To this Jesus replied, in all truth I tell you, I tell you by himself the Son of Man can do nothing but with the Father he can do all things. So when we think of this healing, the first becoming last, maintain that high standard. It means that when we experience a healing from the Master, we always have to keep with him, continue to do good, otherwise something worse will happen to you. Dear friends, as we ask the Lord for healing, we say, Lord, I ask you for healing, but not only do I want that healing, I'm also, I have to pledge my life to you. I have to dedicate my life to you. I have to give you my life. I have to put my life at your disposal. And that is critical. That is necessary. That is important. That is the heart of a miracle. It is not just, well, the Lord healed me. I got a miracle and you thank God and you're finished. No, I thank God every day. Now I have to continue to praise and thank God. I have to continue to do good so that when my time comes, I can experience the biggest, the final, the greatest miracle of all, eternal salvation. So tomorrow we continue with another miracle story.